I've got a gentleman called Khotatso on the line. Hello, Khotatso. How are you? Uh, fine, thanks. And you? Not too bad. Now, the question that Khotatso has phoned through for us is a yes. trick identity. And you're yes. in grade 11, Khotatso? Exactly. Okay, cool. Where do you go to school? At uh, Mahotin. Oh, all right. Okay, now, just for our matric learners that are watching, you will notice that this is a grade 11 identity because it doesn't have any double or compound angles in. Yes. All right. Now, Khotatso? Yes. Tell me, what do you usually do first when you are faced with a trig identity? Okay, I, 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 I take the other side and prove it. Okay, you take the other side and prove it. Okay, now that, that is exactly what we have to do. But yes. usually, when I do a trig identity, I yes. follow certain steps. My first step is, well, the first thing that I must remember yes. is that I must keep the left-hand side and the right-hand side separate. Yes. Okay, because we yeah. can't say that something is equal if it's not. You know, yeah. we, we, yeah. we can't say that it's equal until we've proven it. The yeah. next thing that I always do is I change everything into sin and cos. Yes, yes. All right, so um, if I have a tan, for instance, I will change a tan x into? Into sin x over cos x. Sin x over cos x, absolutely. Yeah. All right, then... I check if I can cancel, but one must be very careful when you cancel because yeah. you must remember, um, Khutatso, you can never cancel over a plus and minus. Okay. You know yeah. what I mean with cancelling over a plus and minus? Yes, if you yes. have something like sine x plus 1 over sine x, then my students like to go like that, cancelling over a plus and minus. That is not good. All right. Yes. In yeah. fact, that's the biggest sin in mathematics. That's yeah. like driving without a license and stealing your grand's purse. You can't do that. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So um, the third step is to cancel, but make sure that you are canceling legally. Yeah. If you can't cancel, the fourth step is usually to find a common denominator. Now, yeah. th these are the steps that I tell everybody to fo follow when they're proving a trig identity in grade 11. But now this one that you phoned through to us, when you look at the question, it looks really simple. But it is actually not that easy at all. Um, okay. You need to be, you need to know what's going on. Let me just try and find our question. Seems okay. to have run away from me. All right, that's fine. I'll write it down again. It was 1 plus sine x. All over cos x. Over cos x. Equals to? Equal to cos x over 1 minus sine x. Exactly. Okay, now, so if I look at the steps that I've written down, my first yeah. step um, basically was change everything to sine and cos. Can you see everything is sine and cos already? Yes, yes. The second step I said is cancel legally. Can you see there's nothing that I can cancel here, legally or illegally? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> then the next step is to find a common denominator, but that's also kind of difficult to do in this case. Now, what you yeah. have to do is you've got to think really carefully about something like this. Now what I did, and it works from both sides, but I started with the right hand side. Okay. There's no law that says you're not allowed to do that. Okay. Now, it comes from experience, Khutatso, to know what to do here. But what I'm going to do is, look, look at this quickly, I'm going to multiply with, um, I'm going to multiply on both sides with 1 plus sine x. Okay, yeah. Not on both sides, I mean I'm going to multiply top and bottom with 1 plus sine x. Okay. Now, I am allowed to do this because I'm not changing the equation. Because can you see I'm multiplying by the same thing top and bottom? Yes. What do we call those numbers? Sorry? What do we call those numbers? Are they the conjecture or what? Yeah. No, no, no. Well, no. It's it's not about that. I, I've just seen you're gonna see you're gonna see what I'm what I mean just in a second. So just just hang on. What I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna multiply out at the bottom. All okay. right, your normal yeah. foil method. Now maybe you can see that we've got a difference of squares at the bottom. Yeah, and, and, yeah. Okay. So that's gonna change to one minus sine squared x. Yes. Okay. 
So, and at the top, I'm going to multiply the cos x in. So I'm going to get cos x into plus cos into x. Into yeah, one, one, one plus sin x. Yeah, so that becomes cos x times 1 is cos x, and cos x times sin x is cos x sin x. Okay. Now, you might wonder, well, how did I know to do this, and what is this helping me? Remember your square identity. That's so it's sine squared yeah. plus cos squared is 1. Is 1, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So therefore, cos squared is 1 minus sine minus squared. Minus sine squared x. Okay. And yeah. that is what I'm going to do now here. That 1 minus sine squared, I'm going to change with a cos squared. And yeah. then I'm getting a little bit closer to the left-hand side. Can you see? Because at the left-hand side, I've got a cos at the bottom. Okay, so yeah. that's how I knew to do that. I said, I've got a 1 minus sine x. If I multiply with 1 plus sine x, it gives me 1 minus sine squared. And I already knew that I'm going to change that to cos squared. Okay. But you see, that only comes with practice. Yeah. Now, now, what you must be very careful of here, Khotatso, is please don't do any illegal cancelling. All okay. right? Yeah. I know it's very tempting. I look here at my students. They want to cancel those causes with each other over there. Uh-uh. If you're tempted to do illegal cancelling, rather take out a common factor. Now, if you have okay. a look at the top, what can I take out as a common factor? That's cos x. Cos x. Is our, yeah, it is our common factor. Absolutely. And then I'm left with 1 plus sin x. 1 plus sin x. And remember at the bottom I have cos squared x, so that's cos x times cos x, right? Yes. And now I can perfectly cancel legally because I'm not cancelling over a plus and minus. Yes. I'll cancel the one cos with the other cos and look at that. That's the same as my left hand side. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now I think it would have, um, what I want you to do actually, Khutatso, is now that you've gotten my tip, I want you to try and prove this one starting from the left-hand side inst instead of starting from the right-hand side. And then you can call us back just now and tell me if you managed to do it. Okay. All right. So it's yeah. been great speaking to you.